All right, the last one I'm going to do is on something called Ralph Hurwitz. And the, the only reason this is really relevant is when, is when you don't know how to do a root locus and you want to look at the bounds of stability. So, for example, if I take a system like this and I hit it with integral gain, and I have a system for s plus 1, s plus 2, like this, if you look at the plant, right, the open loop poles are going to be here at minus 1 and minus 2. And that system is stable, okay? The problem is that you just added an integrator here, right? When I close the loop, what is going to happen to my poles? You can do a root locus and draw graphically where the poles go, but that's chapter 5. If you're just using a route table, you can at least determine when you go unstable. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. First, what you need to do is you need to close the loop. So I'm going to get, I'm going to do this the slow way. I'm going to get 4k over s, s plus 1, s plus 2, all over 1 plus 4k over s, uh, 1 over s plus 1, s plus 2. I'm going to multiply by the denominator. Okay, and then in the numerator, I'm just going to get 4k. In the denominator, I'm going to get s, s plus 1, s plus 2, plus, and it looks like I just get 4k. Okay? In order to determine, this is a third order polynomial now. This, is, this was really easy to factor to get the poles, but if you want to know where the poles go as k increases, you would have to either do like a third order root finder on a computer, you'd have to use some root locus techniques, and I think those are the only ways to do it. But if you want to at least know like what are my bounds of stability, you can build a route table. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to factor out this polynomial. So I'm going to get s, s squared plus 3s plus 2 plus 4k, and I'm going to get s cubed plus 3s squared plus 2s plus 4k. Okay, so that is my denominator. Those are the poles that I care about. To build a route table, you're going to start with the leading, leading power, and you're going to go all the way down to s to the, the s to the zero. Okay, and you're going to, in this case, I'm going to have four rows because I've got a third order system. To build the table, you do one, skip one, two, skip one. There's nothing over here. I'm going to put a zero. Then you start at three, skip one, four k, and then zero. Okay, then you start building your table. You do a minus determinant. The number under here is the number above it. So that's gonna be uh, three over here, minus determinant. This is actually gonna be zero, just because if, if there are two zeros and up and to the right, you automatically know that's zero, so I'm not even gonna do it. So over here, you're gonna get one, three, you take the first two numbers, and then in the second column, you take the numbers over here, two and four K, okay? Now I'm going to call this H for now, and I'm going to compute it over here. So H is 4K minus 6 all over 3, and then there's a minus sign out here, so it's 6 minus 4K over 3. Okay, that's H. Then you do the second row, so you're going to get a negative determinant, and what you do, again, you divide by the number above it, so the number above it is H. This doesn't matter at this point because you only care about the first column. You take the first two numbers above it, so that's 3 and h, and then you go up and to the right, you get 4k and 0, 4k and 0. I'm going to call this q. Why? Because q is 3 times 0, which is 0, minus 4k times h, all over h. There's a minus sign in front of it. The h's cancel the minuses cancel, and you just get 4k, okay? Now what you do is you write the first column, rewrite the first column. You get a 1, a 3, an h, and a q. 1 is greater than 0, 3 is greater than 0, they're both positive. In order to be stable, there needs to be no sign changes. Okay? So H now, 
needs to be greater than zero. So that means that 6 minus 4k needs to be greater than zero, which means 4k needs to be less than 6, which means k needs to be less than 6. Q needs to be greater than zero, which means 4k needs to be greater than zero, so k needs to be greater than zero. If you notice, there are bounds on k now, and this is the range for stability. If you make k 7, the system is going to go unstable. If you make k negative 1, the system goes unstable. If you make k 3, you're good to go. The system is stable, and if you combine some of the techniques from before, what type of system is this? This is a type 0 system. So if you hit this system with the step, you're going to get constant steady state error. But if you increase the type of the system to 1, now if you hit the system with a step, the steady state error is going to be 0. And if you make k between 0 and 6, the system is stable. And so those are how you can combine those things. So I've used a route table to, prove, to tell me the range of stability, and I've designed the controller such that I have no steady state error to a step. Cool? Again, post in the comments if you have any questions, and hopefully this highlights some of the things.